How's it going everyone? 138 MMA here and today I'm going to explain implied probability for you. That's something that's very important when you're going to place bets on fights or any sports betting for that matter. But since this is an MMA channel, we're going to use it for the, the sake of predicting fights. So what we're going to do here, we're going to break down the implied probability of two uh, hypothetical fighters. So hypothetical fighter A is going to be a plus 130 underdog and hypothetical fighter B is going to be a minus 150 favorite. Now these are the American odds. Obviously, uh, I, this is what I'm most familiar with. I do live in the United States. If you want me to do a breakdown on the decimal system, let me know, I can do that. Um, it just takes a little more at, uh, calculations on my part, but let me know in the comments and I will do that if you are interested in it. Anyway, so to break down the implied probability here, we're gonna have to do a little bit of math and we're gonna use the PEMDAS system, if you remember that from grade school. Uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. If you remember that, let me know in the comments because that was a staple of my grade school years. Uh, but here we're gonna use that to determine the percentages on, on these fights here. Now I've already calculated this one out because it's a much harder calculation, but we're gonna go over how we got there um, and then I'll do this one. So what we're gonna do here, so we'll start with the underdog fighter A. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go inside the parentheses and then inside the second set of parentheses because that's how that works. You take the odds, which currently is 130. So you take the odds uh, and then you add that to 100 to get 230, okay? So you have 230 here. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take 100 divided by 230 and that's gonna get you a decimal, okay? So that decimal that you get, uh, it'll be 0.43, uh, 0.43 and then some other numbers, 0.347, something like, I don't, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take that decimal that you got, the 0.43 whatever, and you're gonna multiply that by 100. After you've multiplied that by 100, you then have your percentage of likelihood that a fighter is gonna win. So fighter A is projected to win 43% of the time if fighter A and fighter B fight in, in any fight, but if say they fight 100 times, Fighter A should win 43 out of 100 times, for, ex for example. Now, Fighter B, on the other hand, this one's a little bit different because it's not, it's not the same calculation as here, but it's still just as simple to get there. Um, and in fact, in this example, it's actually really simple to get there. So in this one, you have the odds as the top number instead of just the 100, because this one will always be 100. This will be the odds. Now, when you look down here, you also have the odds here. So obviously the odds plus 100, very similar to what we did here. Uh, actually, the exact same as what we did here, just with the, with, the other, with the odds of this fighter, not the other fighter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the plus 150 and add that to 100. So, I mean, or the 150 and add that to 100. Uh, so that gives us obviously 250, we know that. Then we're gonna take this 150 here and divide that by the 250. That should give you 0.6, um, if my memory serves and my math is right. Uh, then you're going to take that and you're going to multiply that by 100 to get you the percentage because 0.6 is a decimal. So you multiply that and get you your percentage, which is 60% of the time. So what that means, if these two fought 100 times, fighter B is projected to win 60 out of 100 times. So with that said, uh, and you obviously they won't add up to 100 because that's how, you know, the house always wins type of thing. So that's how you're going to get that variance there. But so when you're looking at this, now how does this help you place a bet? Well, let me tell you. So say you thought that fighter B was gonna win, who is the favorite here, obviously, in this matchup. But you thought fighter B was only gonna win probably 55% of the time, so you had a slight lean. You said, oh, it's a, it's a little over a coin flip fight. I think 55% of the time fighter B wins. Well, this would actually be not a, the best bet for you to play then because the implied probability says that this fighter should win 60% of the time. So if you're believing it to be about 55%, well, then that's not the bet that you typically are going to wanna to play. Now, if you had thought that fighter B was going to win maybe 70, 75, 80% of the time, this is a great bet because they're saying that it's 60% and you're getting the odds that reflect that, the 150, the minus 150. And so if you believe it's to be 70, 80, 85, 90, like something like that, what you're gonna get is some better value here on the play, so playing this would be a, a good option, okay? S similar for the, uh, for the underdog here, so plus money is always nice, we all like to get the plus money, but you have to, if you look at the probability, that's gonna help you decide whether or not it's a good bet to place, or if you're just trying to pick who's winning, which is fine, sometimes that's all you need to do because it, 
no matter what the, the value is, if you get the bet wrong, you still lose money. But anyway, the implied probability can really help you figure out what bets are good bets to place and which ones you should probably look for better spots on the card. So I hope this helps. If this did help, let me know in the comments and you can also show your appreciation by liking this video um, and then subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of fight breakdowns. So if you, if you found this video looking for implied probability and you like MMA, well, guess what? You found the right channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, for all you that are my normal subscribers, I hope this helped you and we will see you in the next video.